yeah, the Austrian champions against the what, nine times yeah. Swedish champions. It, it will be a great game. So we have uh, in black the Black Mermaids and in white UVRC Wien from Vienna, Austria. It's going to be interesting because Black Mermaids have some quite strong players actually. Um, Vienna though improving their speed over the last games, going for more counter attacks, going um, for more aggressive uh, for checking here, trying to get have more ball possession. Um, we'll see if uh, the Black Mermaids uh, can speed up the game uh, or overpower them with uh, sheer strength. Uh, and size, or if uh, Vienna can actually outplay, uh, take the ball to the ground, uh, make Black Mermaids uh, swim more, and um, have them um, on the defense. All right. And the game has started. Game. Okay, same. And Black Mermaids here in possession of the ball and trying to get straight here to the basket. One player already positioned at the basket. Now three players um, onto the defense of Vienna. Um yes, this is Signa Davidson here with a colorful fence. Yeah. Easy to recognize. Trying here to power. Oh, a very nice grab, grab here by the, by the Black Mermaid onto the goalkeeper of Vienna, but she's trying to twist out of it. Okay, there's, called, there's a call by the referee for pushing, I think. No, uh, holding onto the basket. Holding onto the basket. Okay. So it's 3 4 for Vienna right now. Uh, quite strong attack here by the Black Moments. They were trying to use the strongest six players, I guess, and going straight for a fast attack here onto the basket of Vienna. Th um that's how they've been working, actually. Like, yes, th this, this morning as well, like, they really went for the, for the goal as soon as possible, and that's yeah. actually their technique, I think. They go and put pressure as soon as possible and yeah, destabilize the opponent. Straight up, uh, same pretty much the same style as um, Mama Triton did uh, last game, going for four checking. I'm trying to pressure the ball keeper here and they regain possession of the ball in the middle of the pool. Vienna now uh, trying to get out the ball but they seem to be a bit troubled. Oh, and uh, Murray Play actually stole away the basket. But Sabrina Scheuer here uh, can uh, catch the ball. With two people fighting for the basket. So if you don't have the ball you can actually not push the other person. So if somebody steals your basket you lie on top of them or wait until they leave. But it's it's very tricky, so don't it should not let people steal your basket. So we have a question: What time are the finals? Um, the finals today are so the women's final is at half past three. Go ahead. I'll try to be a bit louder here. Um, so half past three p.m. Is it it's better now? Okay, keep on saying the time. So half past three p.m. for the women's final, Duisburg against Akaren, and the men's final is at quarter past four p.m. Orcas against Bamberg. And for the spots, three yeah. and four. No, yeah, three and four for the women. It uh, no for the men. It's uh, Riemen uh, against Flipper at two p.m. And uh, for the women, Amaya against Castores at 14.45, so quarter to 3 p.m. Back into the game, we see um, Black Mermaids uh, having possession of the ball here, trying to uh, use their strength to rip out the ball from the Viennese players, um, not letting them out of their own half, uh, pressuring them back into a defensive positioning. Um, but Vienna trying to get the ball away uh, in the corner, but only having two forwards there, usually uh, it's very tough to um, just get a hand onto the ball here. And Black Mermaids um, still in control of the game, having a now very nice position here. Um, but the defender could, I think, just in time get into position and uh, push uh, the attacker um, away from the basket. Now, surface scrum. And the ball is back into the possession of the Black Mermaids and they go immediately go in again. Pressing the defense of Vienna here. So Black Mermaids controlling the game, uh, forcing Vienna into their own half here for about four minutes now. And we'll see if they uh, can get the push out into the, the half of Black Mermaids and um, position themselves at some point. 
For the Swedes here, always having one player um, waiting underneath the basket to get a quick pass, to get a scoring opportunity uh, onto the back of the goalkeeper here. And the mermaids are always attacking like two to three players on the water. Yeah. So it requests always, it always requires the Viennese to be defending with also two to three players and stay at the basket. They cannot really go out. It's quite risky. So the, the mermaids are constantly putting pressure on them. Um. Yes, and you see here, as soon as they gain possession of the ball, they're immediately going for the goalkeeper, not uh, going down into the defense, but trying to rip the goalkeeper off the basket having one player um, lying underneath and um, waiting for a pass to have an easy scoring opportunity there. But Vienna so far always having a defender in place to uh, secure the position and the forwards doing a pretty good job here um, pushing them away. But now again, a uh, nice attack here in the goalkeeper by the Black Mermaids um, struggling very much here and think she's got a bit of grip onto the ball. But the Black Mermaids stole the, pot, stole the basket away. Um, I will see. Now Vienna has to uh, scrum the ball uh, for as long as uh, there is a goalkeeper uh, of Black Mermaids on the basket. Oh, and now it's very, very risky here, um, but I think the Nishimo here regaining possession of the ball, trying to, s to rip it out. Um, now they have to get back into their own half at some point. Yeah. And now those, those are the moments you act. Oh, very risky here. Three Black Mermaids uh, onto one Viennese player. Um, nobody else on the water. Yeah, nobody else happy here. And now there's an empty basket. Oh, and there's the score for the Black Mermaids. I don't know what happened here. I guess maybe Vienna had a lot of players I exchanging. Think they were changing, yes. That this, that is, this is the one moment you actually have to button your snorkel and go through and help your teammates. When you have possession of the ball, you have to bring it to, to the opponent's half. And you have to, then you can circle the ball around and have one or two players exchange. But until you, you finalize your counter attack, until you're out of your own half, until you, uh, your own basket is safe, you can't, you can't exchange. Not as a defender, not as a forward, not as a, not as a, not as a back. There's got to be somebody uh, to retake the position um, if necessary. Yeah, so that what might have happened now is that uh, the Viennese saw that one of the players, I guess the goalkeeper, or defender, got the ball that fell down and started counter attack, and the others were getting the breath or changing and yeah that's that's when the mistake yeah, happens it's a tough situation it's a mistake it happens and let's see how vienna can come yeah, back vienna now with the timeout here and um maybe trying to um rethink their strategy um communicating better that um, they have to help each other to get out from half um maybe they have to be a bit more offensive right now uh, leaving the basket um, open a bit and helping the forward um, try to get repossession of the ball um, but I think Black Mermaids will be very quick to seize those opportunities and um, take down the goal away from um, the Viennese women. So they have to be careful here not to risk too much, but at some point they have to score, they have to equalize here. And they seem to struggle to get out of their own half here to keep possession of the ball. Black Mermaids here um, using the strength to their advantage. Um, scrumming the ball up as soon as they can and then ripping it out of apparently stronger players here. Mm. Stronger and I guess also more experienced when you have players like Hans Sophie Krakow who's been playing for 25 yes. years and or young players who still have been playing since they're 12 so it's um yeah but uh, it's good to see like Vienna is playing well and they're like yeah. holding in defense all the time so here they're yeah. on the now they have to open side. No, oh, mm. that was a sad drop here. Oh, and th now there's the quick counter attack. Okay, so we had a question. Um, when it is so, the women's final is in a bit more than uh, an hour and a half, so one hour and forty minutes, and the men's final is forty-five minutes. After that, do the math. My brain is not working anymore. <laughs> Yeah, Vienna now back in defense, and again a black moment, stole a bit of basket, but ooh, nice job here by nice the goalkeeper save. to just get in between um, and just block. Is it Lise Schwarz on the goal? Uh, that was the Nila Nantep here in the first moment, but now oh, very, very strong attack here by a very big black moment, and there's pretty much no chance for the defender. If you're on, if she's on the back, it's very tough. Um, 
well done here by the Black Mermaid to seize their opportunity and to immediately score on them. But it's very interesting to see how the Austrian, how this game is, is actually a very interesting game. And two yes years so. ago, um, two years ago actually Austria, we I was playing, uh, I played with the Austrian team and we won against the Black Mermaids, but they had sent their junior team. Yeah. But otherwise, uh, uh, the a nice position here now really uh, nice. for, for uh, Vienna, but she can't quite push the goalkeeper up. Now Denise Schmutz again, and she maybe she tried to get in there, but oh, nice position here. But oh, she dropped the ball. Lisa Schwarz here um, with the ball. Rikenowski now, they're trying to go in there with two players. And what's really important for them is they have to keep possession of the ball. Magdalena was here now with the ball, but... but she's by herself against... The yeah. There was another player, but she was too far. There lying on the basket of... Uh, yeah, of but Norman. she had three people on yeah. her, so and now a counter-attack. Now a quick pass okay, here. Okay, she got stopped. Uh, yeah. Oh, and there's... But Vienna does have some young players as well. I mean, they have a lot of two, uh, three or four girls who only have like a year playing experience. Yeah, and uh, the team is really doing uh, three years ago that there was like 20 0 goal difference, and now it's yeah. uh, 2 0, but it's well well played. And yeah, okay, we have some complaints that uh, the mermaids deserve some love. Sorry, we don't know the players, we cannot recognize them. Um, okay, I'll try to be a bit more impar impartial. And we have people mermaids watching from California, from. Uh, mermaids are doing really, really bad so far, so they're winning right now. Um. They're doing a good job there on defense. Uh, most of the time they're having hard four checking. They're playing very similar to Malmö Triton here. Uh, pushing Vienna uh, back into the half. Uh, most of the time um, pressuring them as soon as Vienna is getting possession of the ball. And now we have, um, we have half first time. time's over. Yeah. Half time break. Yeah, 2-0 for the Black Mermaid. It's quite a very, very similar game to the last one actually. The one team is mostly on the defense. Um, Black Mermaid positioning themselves very well underneath the Viennese basket. Um, getting the scoring opportunities, attacking the goalkeeper from above, having one player um, underneath the back of the of the Viennese goalkeeper, ready to get the ball and push up, um, uh, push up and have uh, those heavy attacks uh, onto the goalkeeper. Vienna doing a pretty solid job so far of defending, but um, not quite being able to sustain um, the entire time here. Here we see. Uh, Denise Bayer and her yeah, four month daughter, so... Yeah, it's a weekend enough to who had a child yeah. in, in July. August? Or August, yeah. Something I think like she's that. barely four months old and her mom is playing already, so... That's great, there are so many kids all around here, around the pool, napping, playing in the water. I think we should next year have some kind of uh, kin like a um, nursery, a yeah, and give a garden uh, daycare yeah. and the water rugby daycare. <laughs> Yeah, let's see how it uh, continues in the second half time. Um, hopefully, oh, yes. not not just <laughs> because we're we're not, not because we're partial to the Viennese, but hopefully because of for the interest of the game as well, um, that uh, the Viennese managed to keep on going, keep the same level, and don't break under the s the Swedish pressure. They're trying to fight uh, their way into the Swedish half with Black Mermaid. So far, the solid defense. They had one, uh, I'd say, 50 um, 50 scoring opportunity here for Vienna when mm -hmm. was underneath the basket. But they couldn't keep the goal, uh, couldn't push the goalkeeper up there. Uh, Black Mermaid uh, with way more scoring opportunities here, ripping the goalkeeper away, taking away the basket a couple of times. So um, we'll see if uh, Vienna can somehow come up with a strategy. I think their biggest problem so far is that they cannot really keep possession of the ball uh, against the Black Mermaids. Black Mermaids doing a very good job uh, attacking immediately after they lose possession of the ball, going immediately for the ball carrier of Vienna, giving them a very, very tough time. Yeah, so we have people watching from California, from Scotland, watching, I guess, from Turkey. I'm not sure where is everybody watching from. We have 240 people right now on the chat. Um, but I'm sure we have more people than that watching. Do you have, like, big watching parties at your places? Tell us a bit in the, c in the comments. What is happening? How are you watching? Or tell us in the comments or on social media. We're there for you. And it's great that 
people there watching the games. It's ve a very, very exciting tournament. Always more teams being here and more intensity. The level of all teams is, is growing and you have always less and less of a difference between yes. the teams. I don't know what you think and you've yeah, been playing. How I'd did you feel the it? The gap is closing between um, pretty much teams that are the old established ones like te teams between place one and one and four are pretty much uh, on the same level but then the gaps between five and um, eight at least on the man side eight and nine um, have been closing down a bit it's like two score games one score games at some point and also for the women um, games have been uh, much closer this year oh very nice pass here underneath the, the goalkeeper and one um, was already lying on the basket so yeah. The, the again, beginning of the half time, the Murray yeah. is going strong d directly. Yeah, first 30 going seconds, going that's going to be good. They know that they're, they're going to probably be faster uh, in the middle of the pool. They have a strategy to one snatch the ball away. Two, three people uh, going straight for the basket. One p player actually going straight for the basket without any attention for the game uh, in the middle whatsoever. Taking the basket of the end away. Yeah, and Vienna's having trouble to get more than one player on the water here. They, they need to have more than one player uh, ready to receive a pass, not just as the at the last minute. They have to be there one or two seconds earlier. Mm. So there was now attack in the head by Blackmore with the Cathedral for Vienna here. And uh, the mermaids are good at reading the game as well, like catching passes and... Yes, I think ball handling is a very big part. And ball handling just needs a, a lot of practice. And um, if you have uh, some players that just play for a year or maybe two years, then um, experience in um, effective ball uh, handling and play positioning will give you a huge advantage um, over your opponent. And if yeah. you have uh, players like Anspi Krakow or Kvess um, uh, on, on the Swedish team here. Uh, we have Signe Davidson, who is Norwegian, but studies in Lund, actually, in, in Sweden, um, playing yeah. for them. I don't really know what it is. So we have player. Eric like um oh we have Eric Lindstrom. So really experienced players here on, on the Norwegian uh, on the uh, Swedish team. Let's have now another free throw for Vienna. To change sides now. Yeah, Vienna really struggling to keep possession of the ball. They are trying their best uh, to somehow get into the half of Black Normates. Somewhat uh, establishment. Oh, that's actually. Oh, that would have been a great opportunity here um, to go for the basket, but the ball suddenly just dropped down. And I think that the Viennese are tiring a bit. Or yeah, they might be a bit tired here um, from but the last game against the Tiranis, but uh, at the same at the same time, they're not as many on the water. Like they, no, they're not as present. I, I feel yeah. that the, the pressure is going down a bit, but not too much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, nice. And now what was yes, I saying? No, no, <laughs> I should throw the negative nice comments and then they go back. To get close to the basket. It's important to have more than one player try to reach the basket at some point. You can't just go in with one player. You won't be able to succeed um, on a level like this uh, with just um, single efforts. It's interesting how the referees are staying in the middle of the field. All the yeah. time they're, they're I mean not I mean a lot of playing is going on in the middle of the pool because there's a lot of scrums in the middle of the pool and the game is going pretty much back and forth here uh, in this half since the uh, first goal was scored by the Black Moment. But I'm used to referees like a bit more mobile going closer to the baskets like I don't know how well they can see like shoulder in the basket or yeah but they're moving up and there's an advantage situation here. Ooh, very well done that's here, a very good chance. No, they she just oh and she the lost in, the ball. Uh, behind the back very close there for Vienna to actually um, get a score here against the Blackmore. It's nice positioning underneath the basket. Okay, Vienna got the and ball back. Ah, that was a nice back opportunity. Here, but I think uh, the Blackmore will have repositioned themselves. Yes, they have repositioned themselves here. Defender is back in place. This was pretty much the best scoring opportunity Vienna had all game here. Um, pushing the goalkeeper up, but couldn't quite succeed here. It's tough if you're a team that uh, really actually um, has the opportunity um, to practice against other female teams and then at the same point um, you're on the defense most of the time during a tournament. Um, it's 
quite tough to get um, experience in scoring opportunities and uh, having experience to push the goalkeeper up properly. I mean, you have to practice it in the club as well. Yeah, but in the club it's, it's also it's different. It's a different situation in the tournament if you're under pressure and if you're out of the air. Now, quick fast break here by uh, the Black Mermaids going straight for the basket, but defender is in place here. Um, we see, I think she will go up and try to put, put the ball down on the other side. Yeah, um, close to here, um, but Sabrina Shaw here on the basket, able to grab the ball um, and trying to. Now lying in the basket. Yeah, and the thing is also at training, most trainings, most teams um, train mixed, and then it's really different energy and dynamic when you play with men. Um, even if you play just women against men, sometimes, like in my club, we do that. Um, sometimes we play like all the women against the men, and it's uh, it's a different dynamic. They don't really swim nice the same the way. The they don't. Well done, oh, well done by nice the Black Mermaids. Yeah. They uh, took the defensive position. Defender of Vienna wasn't there. Forchecker wasn't there. Goalkeeper was laying uh, solely on the basket, and the quick pass here towards the backside of the goalkeeper, and just a quick push, and uh, Black Mermaids can go ahead. Four to zero here in this game with four minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. Yeah, Black Mermaid showing here a really nice uh, performance against Vienna. And Vienna still trying to keep their efforts up, trying to get into the half of Black Mermaids, trying to score once to have um, this good feeling of seizing every opportunity they can. Uh, one against two. Yet again, no forward here to help the goalkeeper, and was it the goal? Yeah, she could uh, pull away the goalkeeper here, screen for uh, McLean the box and uh, put the ball in uh, in a small hole here. At but the it, it took a long time for the Viennese uh, yeah. teammates to come down. Like yes. they were down for quite a long time, and then it's the stressful. Yeah. The goalkeeper was in place, was doing a really good job here, um, uh, trying to protect the goal as long as she can. But she needs help of a forward here to actually. Um, be able to clear the situation if it doesn't get a hold um, on, on to the ball. That you saw the last game of uh, Firenze against the Black Mermaids. Um, they always had like for a long time, they sustained the pressure, but they always had, um, a, like always, very often they managed to have an attacker between the ball and the defender. So it was uh, another way to keep a bit the pressure yeah. off uh, the defenders. They could p position themselves better and yeah. was a bit more of an Especi obstacle. Especially is if, uh, as we can see here right now, um, the Black Mermaids always going for the neck of the goalkeeper here to try to establish a hold and pull the goalkeeper up, um, <laughs> get them out of position to then throw those quick passes uh, down to a player position underneath the basket. Um, as a forward player, you have to be aware of this. You have to um, actually anticipate the situations um, and uh, help out your goalkeepers and your defenders. So not just strictly going for the ball. At some point, uh, it can be a better uh, better choice of game plan to let the players come towards the goal and um, attack them as soon as they try to grab um, your goalkeeper and your defender and have the ball look out um, if they're not paying attention to it. Oh, but now really pressure situation here for the Black Mermaids. Again, three players underneath the Viennese basket. There is a defender a bit in place, but um, uh, yeah, she actually could gain Plus the ball. Sophie but here on the back. Yeah, again, uh, Black Mermaid here um, underneath the goalkeeper, pulling her up, but she couldn't quite put the ball in. Oh, and it was attack on the mask here by Black Mermaid. On equipment, uh, actually. Could be fence. Could be snorkel. Free throw for Vienna. Have people watching from Australia, from Luxembourg, from their bed, from, from the trains, from Hamburg, from Lebanon. Yeah, the main commentator is Thomas, by the way. And uh, <laughs> I'm Lisa. And yeah, if you each have one headphone, you won't hear both of us at the same time. Yeah, true. We might only be hearing one of us. True, you can't. If you're Thomas. sharing headphones, you might only be hearing one of us. Choose your favorite. Okay, let's see. 46, 45 seconds left. 45 seconds to go, but nice scoring opportunity here for Vienna now. Um, but she went in without speed here. If she could close the gap between the goal uh, and a bit faster, they might have been in, the, in a good position. 
Counter attack from the Black Mermaids now. Yeah, they're trying to keep the rough there, but again here and Ooh. whoa, okay. <laughs> from the side that looked like a goal that was behind the, the, the goal. Swimming into the goalkeeper. Yeah. And the goalkeeper. But nice, nice. Not here by Magdalena Wurzel actually to not let her take the position. Yeah. Okay, the goalie here was by himself. <laughs> A bit. It was an exciting yeah, it's a game. Bit of, a, uh, of a heartbreak uh, time, but five zero. It's 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 a good score. It's yeah, I think five zero is very representative of the game. Black Mermaids, um, clearly the stronger team here, more experience, better at ball handling, um, stronger uh, at pressuring um, forward against the Viennese offense. They were really struggling to get into their half of the Black Mermaids uh, properly. They had one or two good scoring opportunities. They couldn't seize them. Sadly. But for a young team uh, against an experienced team, uh, well done here. And yeah, we're basically looking forward to all the female teams who are now um, very young and a bit inexperienced to be here the next two or three years, see how they improve and how the competition is getting closer. And Okay, so we have our... And I think Lorena and both will be taking over now, if I'm correct. They're coming for the game. Uh, okay, yeah, it's already the... the Game for the third spot for the men, Rayman against Flipper, and it will be two times 15 minutes. And everybody's getting ready, giving over to Lorraine and Wolf. 